Hey guys, it's Nero from Phone Arena. In front of us is the iPhone 6 Plus and the LG G3, and we're gonna test the speed and performance of these two flagship devices in terms of numbers. To accurately test these two handsets, we're gonna use two very well-known benchmarking applications, Geekbench 3 and 3D Mark. We would have liked to have used Antutu Benchmark as well, but the app has some issues on the iPhone and the results produced are not accurate. Using these benchmarks, we'll be able to give you a score for each one and not only compare them against each other, but also against other devices. As these benchmarks do take a little while to run, I'm gonna speed things up, otherwise it's gonna get pretty boring. And we're gonna kick things off which, with Geekbench 3, which is a reputable benchmark that tests the CPU, power, and efficiency of a device. As you can see, the iPhone 6 Plus receives a single score of 1609, and a multi-core score of 2897. Interestingly, the same benchmark test takes much longer on the LG G3 and other Android devices, and this could be due to the multiple cores that it needs to test. You can see that the LG G3 receives a single score of 906 and a multi-core score of 2126. Well, the iPhone 6 Plus receives better scores in both results on Geekbench 3, and there's a few reasons for this. Although it's powered by a dual-core CPU versus a quad-core on the G3, the iPhone 6 Plus runs a 64-bit operating system, which provides efficiency, and also the hardware is more tailored to iOS, whereas on the LG G3, LG have had to use more powerful specs, as they don't enjoy the same deep integration with the OS like Apple do. Well, the iPhone 6 Plus ranks highest for both its single-core and multi-core scores, and as you can see, it even beats the Galaxy S5, at least according to Geekbench. In comparison, the LG G3 only ranks slightly lower than the Galaxy S5 in the single-core test, but ranks much lower in the multi-core test, with its score of 2 on 2, 6, placing it between the LG Nexus 5 and the Galaxy S4. Now let's move on to the second benchmarking application, 3D Mark. So to run the 3D Mark test, we're going to use iStorm Unlimited, as it's the only one compatible with, with the 64-bit OS on this iPhone 6 Plus. 3D Mark is a completely different type of test compared to Geekbench, and takes longer to run as it tests the graphics, GPU, and rendering, along with the CPU and memory. Speeding this up, you can see that the iPhone 6 Plus receives a score of 17904. We can see that the LG G3 receives a score of 16022, which is slightly lower than the iPhone 6 Plus. How do these two handsets compare against the competition? Well, the iPhone 6 Plus ranks between the Sony Xperia Z3 and the HTC J Butterfly, whilst the LG G3 ranks, ranks lower down the chart and falls between the Nvidia Tegra Note 7 and the Pantech Vega Secret Up. Overall, the benchmark results reveal one thing in common. The hardware and software integration that Apple enjoys has resulted in a more coherent experience, allowing the lower spec iPhone 6 Plus to be better optimized than the LG G3. What do you think of these benchmark results? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and do us a favor by hitting the share button, and I'll see you in the next video.